Hey guys, it's Alex here, and today I've got another After Effects tutorial for you. And this time I'm going to be going over motion track signs on uh, your clips. Um, a good example of this is in my Baker edit. I um, during the clip this go on sign came up. Actually, if I just quickly get uh, the video up, you can have a quick look. I'll just turn my speakers down. And we go forward to here. As you can see, the clip carries on, and there you have the sign right there. It's just a nice effect, and it's always nice to add. So, basically, I'm just going to delete um, all of la these layers. I haven't actually rehearsed this or really gone over it since I actually made it, which was a hell of a long time ago. But basically, what I've done is I've got, I've, I've, I've gone twixted it, still keeping it quite slow. Just and then carries on into the next clip, and then what I've done is I've just uh, used the 3D camera tracker in um, After Effects CS6 and uh, camera tracked it, and I've got a null object just on that wall there. Um, if you don't actually, if you don't know how to motion track, then just search it up on YouTube. There's plenty of tutorials, and by I'm sure most people probably know how to motion track now. Um, you can also use camera tracker, or you've got Buju and all that. But I won't waste time doing that. If you really need a tutorial on how I did it, I think I did one where it was 3D text and After Effects. Um, that will probably that will be the mystery mystery video probably at the end of this video. So if you need help, go check that out. But anyway, let's get on to this. So I believe somewhere in here, as you know, I have a arrows composition, and all I did, I just got some arrows. You can either pen pen to all these. Or I just got some image. Um, I probably have it. Yeah, so I just went. I went on Google, typed in arrows. Yeah, just some standard green arrows. Just swap them around the other way. Put some text. Put some nice sort of star glow on. Um, oh, I put it on adjustment there. I've got some glow, some star glow. Simple stuff. Um, so yeah, just to make it look a bit nicer. If we go back into my main. And basically, we just want to bring in our arrows like so, and we don't. I'm gonna just trim them down. And basically, we just want to make these a 3D layer. If you don't see the, then press F4. We just make that 3D layer. Now it's all about positioning them, so we can just drag them back a bit. Uh, go. Obviously, I'm probably not gonna to spend too much time on this. So, but this is basically the basis of it. So maybe maybe I might actually near near the end show you just how I made the arrows very quickly. So I mean, I want to make it look like it's staying there. And it is. A little bit like that. Um. Make that minus three. So yeah, you just want to line it up, make it look like it's parallel with the wall, and have it motion tracked like so. And then what I did was I um, decided to sort of animate it coming in. So um, if we went for ten frames, and uh, you can do that by hitting shift page down. I'm just going to hit P, and I'm just going to keyframe the position there, and then I'm going to go to the start, and I'm just going to drag this along like so so it's behind this container and then it will come in like that and then we go maybe five frames so we'll go page up five times one two three four five and we will hit the position again go to the end keyframe it so it's gone down behind the wall we can also just enable motion blur just to make it look a bit nicer so in the middle see it's got a bit of motion blur now we want to make it look like it's behind the wall so what we can create do is we can create a new solid we can call this wall track mat see uh, i got a question about how i organize my stuff and basically i just like to rename everything to what it is trim all my layers down so they're only the length they need to be and it just makes it a lot easier to um, organize everything but what we would do is we'll just hide the solid 
and we can get our pen tool. I'm just going to put this in full. Just let it preview out. Good. And we can just mask around this container. Uh, I'm just going to do this very roughly like that. And just bring this out like so. Um, now we can hit M on our keyboard. Keyframe the mask path, go to here. Um, just let this render out. And we'll just double click, move. So obviously take your time on this. Probably don't, oh good. Don't wanna make it, um, just wanna make it look nice so it's still touching everything so that looks all right. So again, just, I'll just trim that down. So I'll begin bracket end bracket and uh, it only needs to be that long and now what we can do is we can just uh, I'm just gonna hit control shift D oh god that's my Camtasia crap I uh, will go edit split uh, split the note yeah, I need to turn that off because when you do that um, it comes up with some sort of Ryan pen tool thing I don't know. but what we can do is we can just drag this below and then we can hit F4 again we can go to our track mat options. I'll just make it alpha, I believe. And that's probably the other way around, actually. I'm trying to remember, yeah, no, it'd be alpha inverted. So, as you can see, it's, it's behind the wall. And we can just uh, duplicate this and drag it above our second lot of arrows. And I'm just going to split it at the end. Oh, for God's sake. Uh, edit, uh, split there, and we'll just. Drag this across again, trim it down to stay organized, and now we can just delete the uh, mask and get our pen tool. Just mask along the wall here. I'm getting messaged on Skype. Keyframe the mask path. This is all very basic stuff. Uh, make sure it's in the same place. Just drag that up slightly, like so. And we can set this to alpha inverted. And that should now be behind the wall, like so. And then for your track mats, you can just uh, uh, just select both of them, hit F, and you can just feather it by one pixel. Just gets rid of that harsh edge, like so. And that is basically how I did it. And so that's now all sort of motion tracking the scene. Now I've let me just check how we do with time. All right, I've got a bit of time. So what I will do, I'll just show you how I quickly made the arrows. So um, I think it's called double, yeah, double left. So what we can do is we can just drag it into its own composition. Um, we can uh, then use a color key just to get, actually. Now what we can do is we can set the transfer mode to multiply. And that should, in theory, in theory he says but no nope. all right we'll do what i was going to do we're just typing color key colors spelled the american way for all you english people and we can just select the white tolerance make the edge thin about one so it's just going to choke it feather it maybe make it two actually I'll just feather it a couple of pixels make it three it doesn't have to be exact and then what we can do is we can just do scale we can uncheck uniform, make it a minus 100. Oh, sorry, It'd be the other way, like so. Make it minus 100. So it's just flipped it around. And then what we can do is we can just um, expand our composition, make it uh, 1280 by 7. Oh, wrong aspect ratio, 720. Just lock that again, like that. And then we can scale it up. Tad on it. Oh, I'm pressing all the wrong keys today. Oh, for God's sake. Okay, and um, we can just check uniform, scale it up again. And then all I basically did was I just sort of masked it down like that. So we only had one of them. And then I just uh, positioned them all really. So then I press Control D, duplicate it. Dragged it forward, control D, drag it forward, control D, and then I just simply 
Nico Donafil. Uh, just made it what a uh, slightly orange color because that sort of matched the uh, color of my CC. Then you can just add a glow. Just these are just small touches that just make you look a lot nicer, like that. And then we can add a star glow. Um, we can make this about five, like that. And you can just colorize it. Go into here. Uh, make that maybe orange. A bit more orange going on. So yeah, yeah, that's basically how I made them. Obviously, you might want to adjust it to your own. Like you said, if you can't, if you just find the arrow, arrow image on a, um, Google Images or whatever, and yeah, you you could see. So that's basically how I did it. And then I just dragged it in and onto your motion track thing. If you really need help with this motion tracking, then just contact me on Skype. I could probably help you out, or I can, if there's a lot of requests, and I'll make a tutorial. But yeah, that's the tutorial, guys. That is how I made my motion track signs. I mean, you can motion track that anywhere. I just thought it looked quite cool going behind, coming down that wall, because it just sort of went with the flow. But obviously, you could have it just on the side of a wall or something. But yeah, that's just a quick tutorial, something I thought that was quite interesting, just to quite an original idea so yeah i hope you enjoyed the tutorial guys and thank you for watching and i will uh, see you on the next one cheers